it going? Greetings from the parking lot at that bastion of capitalism known as Walmart. They call me weird, but ever since I went to Afghanistan, <laughs> whenever I go into places like this, the Walmart Supercenter, maybe it's a PetSmart, whatever, it, it just amazes me the amount of stuff that's there when I've been to places where there isn't anything <laughs> for miles. <laughs> There's more concrete here than most of uh, Afghanistan. Anyway, so that was a side note. What I'm talking about today is marketing and how it's done with brick and mortar businesses. Of all the unlikely suspects, I'm talking about a vacuum cleaner repair shop. So our vacuum cleaner was acting up a little bit. I guess it was spitting hair out or something. I don't, I don't know what it was doing. And Rocket tells me, hey, you know, I want to take the the Dyson in and get it get it squared away and I'm thinking all right go ahead so she throws in the back and she went to the gym and when she comes out of the gym she's got to call a couple of places to figure out where she's gonna take it and the first guy she calls says it's gonna cost you fifty dollars and you know if there's if you got to replace the belt or do this or that it could add to the cost and she says okay so she calls this other guy and he says, well, all right, bring it in. I'm going to charge you $85. And for that $85, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to replace the belt. I'm going to look at the brushes and replace those. And by the time I'm done, the whole thing will look like it's brand new. And so she calls me up and she, she's telling me about this. And she says, I'm leaning towards the $85 guy. And so what do you think? And the whole time I'm listening to it, I, I, I was I was doing the evaluation in my mind, and of course I said, "Yeah, go to the $85 guy," and I'll tell you why. I've been I've been showing Rocket how she works for this these other guys on contract where she does certain things with email and so on, and I'm explaining to her the difference between being clear in your communication and not. And there's always these areas where I tell her see this is this here you get what he's talking about but he should not leave that to chance you, you always are clear you're always exactly clear on everything you do to make sure everyone understands because I'm telling you you can you can say something perfectly right and another person will get a completely different idea and when you tell them well, this is what I meant they're like oh yeah okay I get it but you're not there to explain it to them they're reading email so how this relates is the first guy wants to bring you in with a low ball, the 50 bucks, and then say, well, if it needs anything else, I'm going to add it on. And the other guy, no, he's not going to, he's not going to bolt crap around. He's going to give you the deal. 85 bucks. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And when I'm done, it's going to be completely buffed out and detailed. It's going to be looking like it's brand new. That's a man who does clear and delineated conversation. He gives you exactly what he's going to do. And you just know when you go in there, first thing that might happen, he may charge you less because it didn't need one of the things he normally does. Or he might tell you, he might call you in the middle and say, hey, I've noticed some things about this. It's pretty worn out. You're probably better off buying a new vacuum. Whereas the other guy, almost guarantee, matter of fact, I will guarantee you, you go in there expecting to pay 50 bucks and that's where you're gonna get hit with a bill that's 85 or above, add on stuff. Now, who do you want to deal with? I personally, and all the people that I, I want for clients and customers, is someone who knows it costs money to get something done. They respect the work of the guy that they're going to buy something from or, ha or have a service done by. And they're willing to pay that guy for his time and expertise because that's how he earns his living. And a guy that stands there and says, this is exactly what I'm going to do and here's the price, you know what you're going to get. It, the, it's, to me, just the feeling that I get from dealing with a guy who I know is straight up versus the dude I know is going to tack stuff on. I'm, go, I'm going with the, with the man with the, with the plan, the price, the... the clear communication of exactly what you're going to get. 
So if you're doing business online, and I assume you are if you're looking at this video, when you are creating your offers and everything, remember, you're, the people who you come to your site, you will attract those people based on how you communicate with them. If you want people that are gonna spend money, advertise the people that have money and are willing to spend it for something good. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a bunch of tire kickers, lucky lose, and freeloaders who want everything for free. That's all I got for right now. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.